In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move, building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So? Am I in? Welcome to DeadSec. I'm Sitara. This sweetheart is Josh, a.k.a. Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something, man. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. Uh, 
kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Yeah, you, what, are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Whose place am I in? Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So it was in my phone. <laughs> Yo, Marcus, have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, nah, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Mm. Cyber Driver. <laughs> Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is... Ah! Oh! Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devin Von Devin. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devin. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. Next time, we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver! Action hero, badass! Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. For real? Wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the dread that is CyberDriver. Cyber Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could deal with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. 
And since you didn't come to us to learn, you'll come to me to teach you. We are launching Operation Pokemon Hack. I'll show you how to do it. We are dead set. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Vaughn. Oh, man. This card. This car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack upside of scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it. What? Oh, man. I know it! I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You are not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow! Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um. Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> the car's designed for autonomous control, but. Nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal. Not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. Jump in, baby. The water's fine. Are you rocket? You get the hat all. Hell yeah! Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know, there's... I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> yes, them. Come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown. Annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. <sighs> Rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint. Nice. Just not, not Cisco. Okay, just anyone but him. There's, please. there's gotta be another way. All right. I don't. 
kids in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay, we focus on Siska. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center, we just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Thanking the Church's financial contribution. Loyalty is what? To blackmail here. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. That's it. We'll be able to the You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No. More. Dead sec will give you the truth. Do what you will. By enlightenment, it only costs your life savings. By enlightenment, it only costs your life savings. Distracting enough for you? You gonna go inside and take a peek, or? Oh yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. By enlightenment, it only costs your life savings. Yes? Hi. I'm Jason Lowell. Huh. I'm here for your audit. Okay. Jason Lowell. <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. All right. Uh, let's get started, huh? Yeah, my sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, doubts is a, it's a strong word. I'm not as inspired as I used to be. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. Don't hide things from us. <sighs> You're right. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues. And they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> but that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. No, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I never find out. What well, does it have a name? Ah, the, the, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man. And one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. All right, keep your chin up. Peace! What kind of trouble are you in? We're making trouble for the church. We who? Dead sick. I knew it. I have friends that would love to put dead sick behind bars. Like a good fight? Hey, so did you. Excuse me? Oh, I watched you go toe to toe with New Dawn back in the day, but hey, I get it. You a councilwoman now. No, no. You don't get to pull that I sold out crap on me. These assholes wreck lives on a weekly basis. They went public with videos of my surgeries. But here's the thing. I don't give a shit. I got nothing to hide. But you're right. 
I am a councilwoman now. My hands are tied. That's why you asked me to meet you here. You need my help. Looks like you need mine. Plus, I finished what I start. First of all, don't mistake New Dawn for a church. They are a criminal organization. I pulled the records of all the properties they own in the Bay Area. There's one that just doesn't check out. Over there. Hmm. They have it marked as an educational center. Doors are locked. Nobody answers. Security comes and goes. Does that sound like an education center to you? Nah, no, it sounds like a re-education center. I'll stick around. Go see what you can find. Thanks, Miranda. Another launch. Looks like Galilee's keeping busy. Yeah, it's me. I'm over here. Jimmy Siska. I'm in disguise. Yeah, I can see that. <sighs> Beautiful, isn't it? That house is built on lies, and it's time for, for a confession. <laughs> Man, Open Wounds 3, that, that is a modern classic. Classic. <sighs> I'm sorry, kid. I didn't, I didn't know you were such a fan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I fucked up, didn't I? Seems to be a running theme in that. There's always time for a fresh start, like right here. Right here and right now. Mm -hmm. You know, kid, maybe not right here and right now. I don't know if I can go back in there. Well, it's all good. Just tell me what to look for. I got you. Right. Uh, right, okay. So, uh, there's a lift that will take you down into the basement. In the basement, there's a room. Inside the room, there are ancient Sumerian tablets said to have been written by the visitor himself. No, hey, man, I'm serious. And they, they are deadly serious. Okay, man. No, I believe you. That's perfect. Okay. Look, if you need anything else... You let me know. We're looking at New Dawn's prized possessions. The foundation of their entire religion. Rows of ancient Sumerian tablets. There's a lot of crazy shit in here, but this, no, this... This is something special. Why aren't they in a museum? I mean, what gives the church the right to keep these hidden away from us? Let's find out. Oh, it says do not touch, but hey, I really want to touch. I mean, just a little. Come on. So much rich history. I mean, I am so glad to be a part of all the- Oh, no, 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 no! They're fucking fake. <laughs> this is all bullshit. People commit to New Dawn, pay millions of dollars before they get to see these, and they're fake. As fake as everything else the church promises. <clears throat> yeah. Now I feel better. Let's go home. Behold! New Dawn! Dead Sec decided to dig into the Church of the New Dawn and found crime and corruption at its core. They purchased large amounts of plastic to bet the They may already have a fallen human. We will proceed to leak everything we collected to our usual dispatches. We have verified. Verify. You will come to the same conclusion. New Dawn is a criminal organization designed to intimidate its own members into destroying their own lives and handing over their secrets. We don't know what we have a sorry guest next. Hello, I'm Jimmy Siska. You probably remember me from a bunch of good movies I made before I was brainwashed by New Dawn and forced to toe the company line. When friends of mine questioned the church's cruel practices, they disappeared. When I questioned that, I was taken against my will and locked away. Note the police are already investigating my claims. 
And what is the church all about? What's behind door number five? I'll let my friends in DadSec demonstrate. DadSec has given you the truth. Welcome. Oh, wrench. Yo, man. Damn, man. I hope you kept the receipts. Hey, yo. Check out this fuck stick. So tell us about Home 2.0. <laughs> Home systems are completely bulletproof. Your privacy is absolutely secure. Bold claim, Stephen. Aren't you worried hacker groups will see that as a challenge? Well, say what you mean, truly. Dead sec. Now, if they want to go up against us, I invite them to try. <laughs> Home 2.0 is an OS with teeth. Yo, he called us out by name? Yep. He don't know who he fucking with. It's on now. And that's why I've been trying to crack 2.0. There's just one teeny little problem. What? Here, hold this. Stand back. Great. Chip! A little oh, hard to get out. Look, there's no point in trying to use the previous version's hardware to jack the new OS. Why? Because they changed the ports. Following the capital sky to forced obsolescence. But luckily, a little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Damn right. And that is why you, my friend, are going to hijack me a 2.0 pre-order shipment before some do-gooder white hat tells home how to cock block us. got a weird relationship with technology. You know that, right? He didn't mean it. Crash! 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 Ooh, wait a minute! Hey, tell me I got something good. Nope! Crash! Wait, you want me to get you two coffee? No. He's a robot. I want you to get us caffeine. He'll take a decaf. Sweet! That's a good idea for Josh. Nope. Never happened. Here we go. Yeah! Woo! I just want to say to everybody here to motherfucking dead set yeah. that we are the baddest motherfucking <laughs> hacking, coding, stealing. Well, we bring don't brother, tell the cops I said that shit. <laughs> But she's just dead sick. Hey, nice view. Yeah, I noticed. Fly like foot. And now to watch that sweet, sweet burn. 
Sure you configured it properly? Dude, I don't question you about crypto shit, do I? Guys, shut up. I'm in. Here with the CEO of Home, who I'm told has a little... Always got a surprise for them, all right. I brought our newest device with me, and I'm happy to announce the launch of Home 2.0. Hell yeah! Yes. Yes. Push of a button. <laughs> okay. That's what? the DeadSec logo. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you oh care to comment God. on that? Oh, my God. Nice. Turn it off. We're done. We're done here. We're done. Citizens of the digital age. Welcome, come, come. Home thought they could fool you. Ooh. They sold you a system to monitor your homes, promising privacy, security, and convenience. Home is selling your habits. habits. In fact, you pay a monthly subscription fee for the privilege of being sold to the highest bidder. It's time to wake up. Reclaim the value inherent to who you are. If you don't control that information, someone else will. You can pray our corporations treat you favorably, or you can take matters into your own hands. DedSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. That was humiliating! Steven, Steven! Steven. You took a bad beat, buddy. It happens. Listen to me, you smart son of a bitch! You promise! Ah! Not your smartest move, Steven. You've had some monumental fuck-ups recently. <clears throat> Sit down. Dude, I gave you the means to... You know... Be proactive with all that data. And you screwed the pooch on fucking television, dude. Somebody's probably doing an auto-tune of your interview right now. Don't go near DedSec. They're my responsibility. All you need to do is figure out an apology to my lawyers for laying your hands on me. You gonna be okay? You gonna be okay? Say yes. There you go. I'm gonna get you a glass of water. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, man, shit, what's, shit. What, hey, what's going on? I was looking at our numbers, how many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we had available, and that's when I saw it. It, what, it, what? A chunk of our followers and bots came from inactive or dead invite accounts. Hey, wait, so someone used a social media site to boost our numbers? Who? And how many fucking accounts, I man? don't know who, but it came from inside invite. Someone with admin access, I'm sure of that. As for how many... Sorry, sorry, I didn't check. No, it's all my fault. I didn't check. Josh, no, I didn't it's not check. You know, maybe someone inside invite is a fan. Yeah, or maybe we're getting set up to get fucked. Check, check, check. We need to find out. Marcus, find your way inside. I should, I should have just. Josh, checked. Josh, it's not your fault, okay? Look, we all saw the numbers. You're the only one who caught it. You did good. You did good. Huh? I'm in. Trying to figure out who boosted our numbers. Whoa, whoa. What happened? The flag clients just vanished. We lost the bots. What did you do? Nothing. This isn't me. I... Marcus, is this a bad time? Sort of feels like a bad time. And she drinks it with ice. I don't really need to introduce myself, do I? I know who you are. That night at the beach, man, I knew you looked fucking familiar. Now, well, Venus must have been in retrograde or some bullshit because I think it was fate that I was in the night that you hacked into our system. I had to meet you, and there you were, pissing on your sneakers. All brains and no aim. What's Bloom's CTO doing in the office of the CEO of Invite? And why'd you boost our numbers? Uh, this is the part where you offer me a six-figure salary? <laughs> no, fuck no. No, no, no. You could coat circles around most of my programmers. 
No, see, I can't pitch uh, CTOS 2.0 as a state-of-the-art security system and then hire someone that's on the no-fly list. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just came here to have a drink. But hey, if you want to have a drink and a dance, I meant. Oh, you think it's a fucking joke? Huh? Do it. Roll fucking punch. <laughs> you got everybody eating out your fucking hands thinking the system's bulletproof? You can't see the people you're stepping on. Guess what, Marcus? Guess what? The people want to be told who is good and who is bad. They don't care how it works, only that it does. But it doesn't fucking work. A few fucking civilian casualties is the cost you have to pay for the betterment of the world. You're fighting a war no one gives a shit about. Now they're just swimming upstream right into the grizzly's mouth. So why'd you prop up dead sex numbers? No one in Silicon Valley could throw a proper punch. That, and you're a great investment. You're so aggressive, so indignant. You frightened the rest of Silicon Valley right to my doorstep. You used us to sell CTOS 2.0 to them. What is the ultimate deterrent against hackers like you? And how? Everyone needs my protection. So, here it is, Marcus. Your record is back on file, your backdoor access is plugged, and those bots I gave you, they're gone. Oh, 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 and there's a warrant out for your arrest. Hacking, corporate espionage, and breaking and entering. It's okay. I was done with it anyway. Fuck. Fuck! Fucking! Fuck! It's not that bad. We look like a bunch of chumps. Stop! Fucking! Damn it! Wrench, calm the fuck down. It's not helping. Yeah, you're right. It's not helping. Marcus, you got anything to say? Well, guys, I, to be honest with you, uh, I genuinely don't have a plan. But I got an idea, and I don't know, just trust me on this one. Here we go! Oh, oh, oh. oh good for you, Wrench! <laughs> I know things haven't been great lately. Yeah, they've sucked. But whatever shit we're in now, that's now. You helped us find our voice. We took on the giants and had one motherfucker of a run. Never thanked you for any of it. Hey, why are you talking like it's over? Isn't it? I'm still in. I know you are, and we can convince the others that... you're not in. These are from our DeadSec channels. DeadSec is not worthy. DeadSec is a bunch of skiddies. You told us lies and bullshit. Hashtag DeadSuck. Yeah, so we got some shit stirrers. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they... Jesus, Marcus. Have you been paying attention? I care what they think. I've worked my ass off for years, trying to earn us respect long before you ever showed up. This is my brand. Now it's completely fucked. So unfuck it. I don't know if I can. Uh, well, if it makes you feel any better, at least you're not a fugitive. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if there's a bounty on your head. Maybe I can salvage this. Oh, please, man. you couldn't catch me if you wanted oh, to. Oh, you're talking to a track star, bitch. Just walk. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anything. Yeah, me neither. Uh. 
Guys, back up, guys! Get the cash on fire! Back up! But how do you know? Well, because it has to catch on fire! It cannot catch on fire! Told ya! That is dope as fuck! The Jabberwock, with eyes of flame. Who are you? I'm John! I'm, I'm Horatio, how's it going? What's good? I'm Marcus. Who are you? I'm Ray. Uh, I should have put more cheese in. It's good. Ah! Hey, you kids want to feed your heads? Two ounces of sacrosanct mind fun. People, I am going offline now. See you on the other side. Oh, Horatio, you good, man? The word good has lost all meaning, my friend. Mm. Okay, you good? Mm. Did I forget to mention that these boomers had a little acid bath? Uh, Josh? It's okay, they're using hallucinogens in clinical trials for... Mass bees. Mass, mass bees. <laughs> Josh is feeling it. Okay, let's go find something for you to stare at. <laughs> okay. okay. You're not Ray. You're Ray Raymond Kinney Ray. I, I still got your old hacker zines, man. I remember reading War Driver and gearing up my 10 speed, backpack with an antenna. Shit, I even used your old root kit, man. Fuckster? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, I assumed you were all just... skitty pests. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... your crew seems to have a lot of unfocused noise. You the leader? The fan world! <sighs> no, man, it doesn't work like that. Dead sex got a rule. No personal armies. No leaders. Yeah. Well, FYI, I saw you leading out there. Oh, man, this is everything we're fighting against. The system back home is completely fucked. And any kid out there on the sand is going to say the exact same fucking thing. Easy words, bro. Easy words. All right. A few years ago, this broken-ass system marked me as a criminal risk. Linked me to some shit I didn't even do because it was probable. And now, with CTOS, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I can see it down to the... <laughs> to the sub subliminal shit. You just multiply. Yeah, we have a tendency to do that. What you call subliminal... is a bellwether, Marcus. You got a short eye, kid. But subliminal is passive. Bellwether program is control. It's like a Orwell hospital punch. Profiling. Media manipulation. Corporate collusion. Consumerism. All driven by predictive algorithms. And now, it's setting up shop in the heart of the Silicon Valley. And somebody at Blooms using CTOS to feed it data. Over recruiting. I'm aching. Aching to give Bloom a Swiss steel kick in the peanut sack. Now I can help you kids up your game. Yeah. Help me slay the real Jabber walk. Walk with me, Marcus. Fuck up, let's oh, go. Yeah, man. Uh, I just spent the night in a pup tent next to a lady who was very nude and very tattooed. Oh, good for you, girl. No, you don't get it, man. She was a sons of Ragnarok bride. I guess we gotta go, man. We gotta fucking vamoose now. Come on. Fucking sons are coming. Oh, God. Wow. 
So you said you guys fucked up. How bad is it? Yeah, we all at risk now because my name's got a red flag on it. Yeah, people are gonna start making the connections. Yeah, where the fuck is everyone? Is that all? It's enough. We're talking about Bloom here. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son? Yeah, I've been dodging those bastards for years. If you want, I could scrub you from the system. If you give me a couple hours. Just like that? Well, I might have to sacrifice a goat as part of my arcane ritual, but yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you all morning. Turns out Swelter Skelter doesn't have a lost and found. <laughs> nah, it's more of a finder's keeper's policy out there in the desert. What in the hell is he doing here? Yeah, Marcus, why did you invite the stranger into our house? Look, look, it just happened, all right? We were running from these bikers, right? And look, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's cool. Oh, he's cool. Well, that's good. Because we usually discuss these things as a group. I know. It's my bad. But you met Ray already, right? I want to introduce you to Raymond Kinney. That's Raymond Kinney? I thought you'd be cleaner. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I have a two-second... <clears throat> I get this a lot, too. Can we keep him like a hacker in residence? Yeah, we could use his help. He should... He can he, he can stay here, right? He should... He should stay here. Okay, fine. But if he fucks with any of us, I'm gonna pop his nuts like ripe grapes. Message received. Nice hat. Nice mask. Okay, we're good. You want a beer? Uh, yeah. I would love a beer. Or two. Oh, thank you. Grab the man some hardware, too. He's gonna teach us some magic. Hey, yo, T-Bone. I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. No, seriously? Activist mode. Activate. Hey, man, how do we get Bloom? <laughs> what? Hold on to your joystick, son. You kids are gonna need to work your way up to Bloom, even with me help. Bray, are you briefing him without me? We were supposed to do that together. Uh, no, I just didn't want to trouble you. What trouble? No trouble. Come on, Marcus. Let's brief. Okay. So, let's... let's look at the big shot data harvester. Our friends at Noodle. Now, every time you search for a discount refrigerator or bulldozer porn, they learn more and more about you. Data profiling 101? Uh, right. But what you didn't know was that Bloom's already got their grubby paws all over that data. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good, Sitara. Noodle's data is just what Bloom needs to strengthen the bellwether, dig their puppet strings in deeper. You know, if we could get a hold of this ammunition, we could take down a whole lot of different targets. I can help with that. You can't hack Noodle unless you get into the server farm. You can't get into the server farm without clearance. Hell, you can't even get on the grounds unless you're an employee there. Who the hell you think Rob Zombie over here gets his intel from? Well, tell me you got clearance. <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to stay low-key right now. One of my leads is breathing down my neck. I bet you Marcus can pose as an employee. Oh, he could do more than pose as an employee, Satara. Tell him what you told me, Horatio. Noodle buses. I snagged an exploit for credentials. I could get you to the buses. All you gotta do is drive it in. They'll think you're one of the bus drivers. Shit. Yo, let's roll, son. All right. Hey. <laughs> uh huh. Let's do this. Hey. Okay, now where's the GPS? Hey, sit, sit down. I got me. Come on. All right, just. All right. GPS. I know where the GPS is. Up, uh, up. Uh, got it. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good hey, morning. how you doing? Good, Gary. Hey there. Hey.
Yo, Horatio, man, I'm scared, bro. What? What is it? Don't nobody look like us. Oh man, welcome to Silicon Valley. Hey, what do you call a black man surrounded by thousands of white people? What? Mr. President. Hey, man, they see two of us together, they gonna think we plotting. We are plotting. Hey, uh, do you want a coffee? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, please, help yourself to a pommel grapple. There to die for. You're so great, thank you so much. Okay, neato. Carlin. Brody. Big day today, huh? I'm excited. How about you? You know, you could just tell us what you've been up to. Where you've been looking, who you've been talking trying to. Trying to get a coffee, you. What was that? Just trying to get a coffee. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm sure you'll be more forthcoming with HR. <laughs> Enjoy that coffee. Watch it! Are you new here? Yeah. Hmm. Punk would love to lay his ass out. I can't stand that mother... Hey, Becky. Gentlemen. He's been watching my ass since the day I got here. Now he's saying I should be more forthcoming with HR? You think he's got something on you? Damn it. Do you have any idea how much jail time I'd be looking at? If I can get into the server farms, I can delete all that shit, all right? We got your back. You're not going in jail. I'll be in touch. All right? All right. All right. Palmer grapples. I'm sorry you chose not to cooperate with us. I would highly suggest you seek legal counsel. Yes. And you tracked the keystrokes? I see. Thank you. Mr. Carlin. I am so sorry. Apparently, we've made a, a huge mistake. I... What a surprise. My apologies. Uh, yeah. you, you are... Free to go. I'm just glad you finally got it right. Whoa, 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 this is a mistake. I mean... Mr. Goodell, take a seat. I don't... Okay, I don't think that... Sit down. Yo, how's the transfer going? It's gold, Marcus. Gold. Bloom's definitely tapped into Noodle's pipeline. They've even given Noodle limited access to their content. I'm all for singing Kumbaya, but this shit's got Dushan written all over it. For Bloom and Noodle to be cooperating like this, it's a major find. But it scares the fuck out of me. Oh, come on, guys. Noodle ain't that bad. Uh, hey, yeah. enjoy the dump, but save a beer for me, all right, Wrench? Right now, I've got some code to... Code. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate everything you did for me. For sure. But, uh, right now, can you get the hell out of here? You're making people nervous. <laughs> oh, hey, did you try a pomegranate? grapple? It was good, right? You look like someone with a lot of valuable information. Now, tell me everything you know about that, sir. Huh. Course, fucking Lenny. Citizens of the world! May I have your fucking pathetic attention? Dead sec, dead sec <laughs> is a bunch of losers spamming your newsfeed. That they pretend to be the saviors of your free will. When really <laughs> they're just some script kiddies who want desperately to be popular. <laughs> it all stops now. I I'm going to teach DeadSec a lesson. And DeadSec, if you think I won't, 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 or <laughs> can't <laughs> destroy your system, <laughs> well, then, please allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Tell me it's just Kiki. It's just Kiki. We're house cleaning the felines. Josh is brute forcing the crypto key. Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh. All right. So, are we going to war for this? Absolutely. We're not letting these trolls drag us into their sewer. Dead Tech doesn't back down. So what? Well, what good is going to war with them? It won't break their lock on us. It doesn't change anything. They got in! No, fuck that. Hey, listen up. We're not gonna let Primate derail us. Let's be smart about this. All right. Primate sells zero-day exploits to anyone with money. Yeah, fucking governments, Bloom, Noodle, even goddamn terrorists. Sons of Ragnarok. What? Hell yeah, Sons of Ragnarok. They hire themselves out to Sons of Ragnarok, right? So we find out as much as we can about their people and their operations. We're not gonna roll over, not for anybody. Yo, Josh, man, where you at? Now it's war. Move. I'll put a message out on the back channels. These guys are bound to have enemies who will give us some intel. Let's cornhole these motherfuckers. Bad ass looks good. Ready for the chip then? Ah, uh, hold on. I'm savoring. Oh, look at this dick bag. So, how many lap dogs you got scrambling behind the scenes to crack my uncrackable lock? Credit where credit's due. Now, uh, you want me to ask nicely? Because you could just give me the key and I'd be on my way. What? It's ransomware, motherfucker. Which means you want what? Oh, I want you to make one of those idiotic vids of yours. Wow, I didn't know you were a follower. Oh, you want the precious pros to adore you? Not on my fucking watch. <sniffs> Fuck! I want a public broadcast that says dead sec isn't worth two seconds, never mind 15 minutes of the public's fucking time. Spice it up. Add some tears. Is that all? Sure. For now. But if you don't do it, then I start naming names. <gasps> That's right. Names. Identities. A veritable zoo, bitch. Damn, looks like you're not leaving us much choice. Uh, Go ahead. Get good. Until then, why don't you run along and make the video I want? You sure you want to keep going with this? I hate fucks. <laughs> and you know why? The propaganda vids, the graffiti, the anti-whatever, do-gooder bullshit. You assholes take yourself so fucking seriously. Oh, you're coming at us, but you need to understand. We are all in this together. We can all... Hey! What kind of fucking noob do you think I am? And what kind of shit stain are you for getting caught? I just thought it was worth a hey. shot. See how far you get with dead servers, loser. Hey, Marcus, you should try Roxanne and Tang more. That's that's Elvis. Hey, Sitara. Hey, put this up on the screen, Josh. It's from Miranda. You're being followed. A friend of mine has given this to you at great risk. Watch your backs as a target on it. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. 
With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So? Am I in? Welcome to DedSec. I'm Sitara. This sweetheart is Josh, a.k.a. Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something, man. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS is. There's got to be something. No clues, but there is a street cam. Okay, yeah. Hooking into the camera? Let's roll back the time code and see what happened. There he is! Who the hell's that guy? Get out of there, Horatio. Yeah! Jesus! Fight back, man! I don't believe this. Jesus, they're fucking kidnapping him! We gotta figure out who they are. Josh, get some facial wreck going. Fuck! That one's pretty clear. Louis Trevino. He's a member of the Tescas gang. The Tescas? Oh, shit. Horatio, man, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, man. I'm going, hey, call 911, Josh, call 911. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, man, I'm here. Help's coming, okay? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, man. He's, he's dead, guys. Star Josh, he's fucking dead. Oh, my God, Marcus, get out of there now! Fuck! Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're smart, right? Yeah, I'm smart. Not so smart he didn't get caught. All that shit you seem to know, you're gonna feed to us. I'm not telling you shit. 
Fuck you. Fuck. Oh, fuck me, boy. No, 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 cuidado, cuidado. No, no. No, sí. No, pinche fuck. Get out of there, Marcus. You, you've got to get out. Not yet. Got him on, man. I didn't get there quick enough, brother. Shit, man. Tesco's gonna come after any one of us, dude. Me, you, Josh, anybody. They went after Horatio. And he refused to give us up. I'll be along in a bit, man. Wait for it. Wait for what? Well, I was hoping for some kind of dramatic reveal, but my time is... It's a Galilei rocket, so what? Yeah, well that there Galilei rocket is number four. The satellites they're carrying? Oh, blim. Shit. Yeah. It's just got interesting. Mm hmm Those satellites are putting a lot of data out of our reach. This is next level shit, my friend. You've been waiting for your chance to hit Bloom. Oh, well, yeah, now we can hit him fucking hard. Can't think about putting a little something something on the next satellite launch and piggybacking into orbit? Uh-huh. You a crazy motherfucker, man. I'm out of this world, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you drive. Yeah. Please, I'm clearly Cisco. Jake Cisco? Captain Cisco. We are minutes away from having Bloom at our mercy. Well, we're gonna cook the shit out of there, Goose. T minus 20, 19, 18, 17, 95, Cordy and Googleplex. You know, just imagining that big data load is enough to get me to half mast and touching cloth. At the same freaking time. Three, two, two one. one. Lift off! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Yes! <laughs> Marcus, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> okay, all right, okay. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, look. It'll take forever to go through all this. Uh, focus on why the satellites are in play. Ray. Yeah, I already got eyes on it. Holy loving fuck. It's a backbone. Satellite backbone? What about the latency? There's no way they can match the speed of fiber optics. If I'm reading this right, they are. Bloom did it. They're, they're bypassing the undersea cables with satellites. That's a quantum leap in tech. I mean, if this works, it'll take hackers years to catch up or... Yeah, not for us. We're already in. Hey, who's on Bloom's client list? We got Noodle. We got Invite. We got Titus. We got Galloway. 
We got the, the government, the New York Stock Exchange. Wait, so all these companies just agreed to up and funnel all their data through Bloom? Does anyone else find this suspicious? Now, all that data at Bloom's fingertips, that's like the world's most powerful monopoly. Can we nuke the backbone? No, no, even if we could, we still need answers. Hey, everybody listen up. Our work is far from over, but with this score, at least we're on the playing field. So pick a target. Invite, Titus, Dibs. whatever, and start digging. Look for shit they're not supposed to be doing, right? Dushan wants to paint us as an enemy? Let's show him what going to war with us really means. Yeah. 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 Hey, what's up? You know what's up. I saw those wheels spinning. Look, I don't want you using Marcus as your personal weapon against Bloom. Where the fuck is this coming from? I know about Raymond Kenny and his great collateral damage. We're using each other here. That was always the deal, Satara. Marcus is a big boy. He knows how to look after himself. Mm-hmm. Sure. Weird. In a free and just society, every person is treated with dignity. In a free and just society, leaders are accountable to those they govern. And in a free and just society, individuals can rise as far as their talents and hard work will take them. Do you believe your society is just? Just. Do you believe you are free? free. Perhaps you trust in the power of democracy. Your vote counts. Companies now buy politicians and manipulate elections. Do you believe in the power of the free market? The stock exchange is a puppet show for the rich. Your wealth is controlled by people you've never met. Met. Do you believe the government protects you? Protects you. National Defense now aims to protect the government from you. Don't take our word for it. Join us as we launch our biggest operation yet and see for yourselves. Yourself. The foundations of U.S. policy have failed us all. Democracy, 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 free market, national security. Dead will give you the truth. Do what you will. We've got all of DedSec dumpster diving through that Galilei intercept. Anything good? Metric a shit tons of good. <laughs> I've already picked out a serious opportunity for us. Turns out, Congressman Thrust's re-election campaign is getting logistical support from Invite. That's weird. And illegal. Right? Why not just give them money? The Invite's got years of collected data. I mean, that shit's worth way more than money. But why back a doofus like Thrust? Dude couldn't tell his ass if someone fucking handed it to him. Well, uh, let's mess him up, break some windows, see what he does. Yeah, create a reaction, might flush him out. Let's announce this. Marcus, you think you can, uh, bitch slap him for us? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got something for him. I'm gonna go fuck up that big-ass billboard with his dumb face all over it. <laughs> Send a clear message. And I'm gonna hit up his campaign funding. And I am going to fuck up his social media. And I am going to fuck up his website. And I am gonna fuck up his online ads. I'm gonna go for another beer. Your freedom is going to only be protected if democracy thrives. But corporate interests are rigging the elections. Your elections. elections. Your favorite social media giant, Invite, knows everything about you. And they're manipulating your feet to tailor your opinion to their interests. They are fooling you into voting for their puppet, Congressman Mark Russ. Invite wields the single most powerful population control tool ever created. Defend democracy. Help us tear down Invo. Let us process the power by downloading our app and together we will expose Congressman Thrust. Join us. Be our detective. And the big data companies are geniuses at separating you from your data. Yo, Teresa Moretti seems to have a shot. If Invo gets its way, no election is safe. Bellwether has the power to influence every voter in the whole damn country. And Thrust is gonna be the guy covering for him. That's why he's so important. Well, ever since we messed with Invite's code, Congressman Thrust has taken a hit in the polls. Invite is freaking out. Yo, Em, you gotta hear what we recorded, all right? <laughs> this is Thrust talking to Mary Catskill, Invite's CEO. 
Can't you do something? It's all going wrong. Let's meet in person. I have something that will square this away. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, let's meet at my penthouse. Up the security, and I'll see you there. Thanks so much, Mary. We'll keep it all on the queue. I'll go record what's happening. We'll use it against him. And I will help you out. Your carriage awaits, sir. Why, oh, thank you, sir. Mr. Nemich. Oh, I'm surprised. To... <laughs> surprised. Surprised. You look like you shot the bed. That's hardly fair. Now, you and Miss Catskill made promises I to... never promised you anything, Mark. Promises are something a five-year-old says, Mark. Blackmail, is it? I know. I wish I'd come up with something better, but... It's a cliche still works. This state forgives sexual dalliances far more than it does drug abuse, Mark. I am a United States Congressman. Long story fucking short, Marky baby. Your numbers are tanking, and we can't afford that. Now it's time for Plan B. You do remember what Plan B is, don't you? And here are the schematics. <laughs> if you're interested. I thought your program would get me re-elected. No, miracles are for losers, Mark. Don't you want to earn this yourself? Now, anything goes wrong, remember, you just keep your mouth shut. Unlike you in those photos. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry about those. I'll try better next time. Citizens. Invite Corporation has been using your sacred vote as a plaything, targeting you individually. Invite manipulated your emotions to give support to their puppet muck for us, but DeadSec hacked into Invite, changed their algorithms, pulled reversed instantly. Invite, desperate to elect Russ, turned to their own form of hacking. Here, Invite CEO Mary Catskill delivers a virus, destined for voting machines to mark Thrust himself. The election has been delayed. Citizens, use this time to think. Do not allow yourselves to be manipulated. That's a important thing before you vote. Dead sick has given you the truth. Don't you? Okay, look, we want to go after Titus, okay? And robotics? Yeah, yeah. Did you find something in the data dump? Yeah, um... Okay, well, let's just say that all the, the taxes and the government grants and the research programs, and you'll notice the Koi signs there, none of it adds up. Okay, they're, they're collaborating with Bloom on something they call the Ten-Year Plan. Again, quality science, hmm. which is supposed to improve CTOS security. Then why are they filing patents on military tech? Because right? CTOS is going the way of all control systems. That's why Junior here is a little bot on a mission. No, he's not. That is not your fucking call. Wait, you think you're just gonna skip through Titus's front door and steal all their dirty secrets? Even Uncle Sam buys his biometric locks from Titus. That's the level of security we're dealing with, amigo. A palm reader? That's easy. We just need to find a hand. I bet you can get one, no problem. Hey, that's your plan? Cut somebody's hand off? Well, it works. Not here. There are heart rate monitors and infrared scan that check for blood flow. No blood flow, no unlock, no pass around. Okay, fine. Then we, we grab someone alive and we get them to open it for us. No. The heart rate monitors will flag if he's nervous. Oh, okay, then we, we, we inject someone with a, with a sedative to bring down their heart rate. For fuck's sake, we already had a working plan here. Not with him! Junior, off. Oh. Hey, listen to me. You don't get to walk in here like you own the place, okay? This is my garage. Mm -hmm. My hardware. He wants to turn Junior into a bomb. An EMP bomb, Trojan horse style. We hit the right hardware, fry the database, and the doors reset to the default codes. Easy fucking peasy. Then all we need is the defaults. Hmm. It does work, man. Hmm? Huh? Fuck you. One night. One night in the desert together, and the two of you are best friends? Well, you know what? Go ahead, Marcus. Go ahead. Take his side, okay? Don't let me get in the way. Right? Hey, grow the fuck up, son. Fuck you, say hey, 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 hey. Hold on. <laughs> Chill out, man. Chill out. How do we get him inside? Well, first of all, <clears throat> we're gonna have to get rid of all this meaningful propaganda.
stop. Stop. Guys, stop. Just keep the paint. When one of these things breaks down, Titus picks them up from a service depot. Oh. That's your way to get him inside. Huh. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, nice wrench. All right, all right. <laughs> Ready to roll when you are, Marcus. Yeah. What, are you trying to topple Goliath? The more of them we drag into the light, the more torches and pitchforks we're gonna see in response. <clears throat> you sure you want to compare your followers to a bunch of angry villagers? Yeah, well, no, man, but... The people are angry, and they should be. They're taking back what's hey, safe. Hey, hey. Just make sure you're pointing them at the right monsters. Right? Anyway, you get to go inside Titus and play with the robots. Oh, shit. When was this decided, man? Well, we did rock, scissors, and dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't even there. No, but if it was a tie, you win. Wrench did paper, I did dynamite. It, dynamite. It's a regional thing. It's, it, technically, they cancel each other out. Okay, so. It sounds, sounds fair. And I sent him into one of the Titus warehouses. Now, he's got the delicate job of reading the fucking manual. <laughs> <laughs> then you are going to go to the front door, get the model numbers, and send back to him for the default codes. I will be nearby looking at blueprints and power plants. Yo, let's do it. All right, yeah. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Hey, what's going on in there? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, way above my pay grade. Good, good luck. Fuck. Yo, Marcus. Check out all this Titus shit. It is like engineer porn. I mean, machine learning, nanotech, rail guns. Rail guns? Yeah, I thought y'all might like that. <laughs> this was a gift? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, damn, Marie. You're like some kind of greasy, foul-mouthed Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry fucking Christmas. Hey, you guys ready? Sitar's about to release the vid. Compared to other Silicon Valley Titans, Titus goes unnoticed. They do not put effort into their public face. They operate behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. DeadSec pride, and what we found should worry you. Titus is using your tax contributions to fund military-capable machines. Today, a combat prototype may have through their own facility, demonstrating the destruction they can cause. Within the next 10 years, these machines can be deployed on American soil. If you do not exercise your right to protest them now, they will build an army to keep you quiet and compliant. Titus has partnered with Bloom to grant CTOS access to their machines. Bloom has sold your private information and weaponized it to use against you, should this project continue. We will not stand idle while that happens. DeadSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. Come on, let's go see what you scored before you get all the pages all stuck together. Hey, I'll catch up with you later. All right, later. You need to shut them down. Prioritize them as a threat. Something. Yep. It's gone on for too long. Oh, I heard you, Mary. The first motherfucking dozen times. If you did, we wouldn't be here, am I right? What's going on? What? Conspiracy? And did he darken my picture? Hey, Ray, can you scrub this shit? Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy this time. Looks like the douche has made you a federal problem. Welcome to the club, amigo. Yeah, it's what he wanted all along, right? Set us up as the boogeyman terrorizing Silicon Valley? Dushan offers to protect them with the CTOS and the satellite backbone, and bam! Everybody falls right in line. 
Yeah. Now Bloom has access to all that collected data, feeding the damn bellwether. Shit. It's like they got a wider reach than the NSA now. I bet the NSA will be real interested in cozying up to them now. The NSA will encourage the other corporations to keep spreading their legs for Bloom. Mm, I gotta do something. I can't stay here uh -uh. stuck. No way. That is exactly what Dushan wants. Besides, you've been doing a lot of the heavy lifting so far. Time to share a load before your back breaks. All right. All right, you guys take the field. I'll provide you logistics. Let's make this happen. Hey, you gave me that look again. Are we okay? Marcus is in serious trouble. Yeah, so let me help. I'm not the bad guy here, Satara. I get it, okay? But we don't use each other here. That's primate. That's Silicon Valley. Are you guys cool over there? Yeah, we're cool. No, we're good. Where do you need me? Hmm? <sighs> Go help Marcus. Look around. What's good, homie? Marcus? I have to say, I don't really see the win in you coming here, but... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some petty macho bullshit, is it? Hi, could you stop us if it was? What, you and Encino Man here? I don't know, I'm liking my odds. Fucking Vegas is liking my odds. Yeah, Encino Man here... I don't know who the fossil is. I've been elbow deep in Ray Kenny's head, massaging his code. Improving it, overriding it, but I gotta give you some props though. You had chops for someone that was clicking two rocks together. Kudos to you. <laughs> well, don't go getting all hard on my account, Duchenne. This isn't exactly what you call a social visit. It's more of a, wouldn't you say? Fuck them and leave them situation. Yeah, that. <laughs> right. Right, well, I'm always up for a fucking run, but. Why the hell are you here? Oh, man, it, it could be important. But let me, uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, our story. Everything you've done, it's all out there now. Violating the public trust, manipulating the stock markets, the lies, the fraud. Fucking bellwether. All of it. Bluffing. What happens if you actually answer it this time? Maybe it's Bloom sending you to face the firing squad alone. Or maybe it's your lawyer telling you there's no place to run. Maybe it's just a telemarketer. You really should answer it this time. Whoever it is, you're done fucking people over. This is Sam Nevik! You're under arrest! Head behind your back! Keep the lock your fingers! Now! Sam Nevik, you have the right to remain silent. Hacker. It's a switch on your fears. Fear of the other. They tried to isolate you. It's called divide and conquer. And they tricked you into thinking it's what you asked for. To keep you controlled and ignorant. They use CTOS to track you, to predict your behavior, to keep you in your place. They lied to you, and we promise to expose them and show you the truth. 
we invited you to join us and you did. You said with one voice, we will not be lied to. We will not be afraid. We will not be silent. In the streets, yeah, man. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Let's see what the world looks like when we aren't afraid to stand together. San Francisco hacktivist cell DeadSec has allegedly revealed what might be the biggest scandal in Silicon Valley yet. The hackers exposed evidence that Bloom's chief technology officer, Dushan Nemec, was abusing his access to TOS data for his own financial and political gain. Nemec was taken into custody and is facing numerous counts of fraud, while authorities have begun seizing his accounts. Bloom's PR representative, Charlotte Gardner, said they are as shocked as anyone and are looking into the matter while cooperating with authorities. Evidence highlighted by DedSec could put Nemec in jail for a very long time.